land of the mighty Victoria Falls. This is Let's Explore, brought to you with the compliments of the Zambia Tourism Agency, formerly Zambia Tourism Board. And we're talking infrastructure development because we at the Zambia Tourism Agency believe infrastructure is everything when it comes to tourism. We're talking both road and air infrastructure. So we're talking about airports and we're talking about roads. And today we decided to focus on the airport infrastructure because it's so key to the development of tourism. And we're happy and honored to have the lady who represents the Zambia Airports Corporation in terms of communications and brand. Her name, Mwembe Sikaulu, and she's here with us in the studio. Good to see you, Mwembe. Thank you, Krista. Good to see you as well. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. It's an honor. Yeah. I was, how was your weekend? My weekend was great, thank you. And how about yours? Are you a, a person that is, you know, into um, visiting tourist sites? Are you outgoing, somebody who loves to visit? You should be if you're in this industry. Anyway. Right. I love visiting tourist sites. Actually, um, last time I was in Livingston, I was one of the few with the group I was in that went bungee jumping, which was fantastic. You've done bungee jump? Yes. Okay. Yes. It was a great experience. As soon yes. as I got back up, I wanted to jump again. Did you leave a wheel before? <laughs> and on the video, when they ask you any last words, I just said, God help me. That God was it. Me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> fantastic. You 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 following my footsteps, which is good because I've done bungee jumping mm -hmm. twice. Oh, fantastic. Twice. Mm -hmm. I think it's an amazing experience, it and is. for me, I can do it anytime. Right. All right, <laughs> Mwemba, you're gonna tell us about the airport infrastructure. We mm -hmm. want to know a lot of things. I specifically would like to know, get get an update from you, in terms of where the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport construction is. Because some people still don't believe that we've started, but you're gonna give us that information. But before all that, I want to learn a little bit about the Zambia Airports Corporation. I knew it as National Airports Corporation. Now it's Zambia Airports Corporation. Correct. And for those who are just joining us for the first time, who are you? Tell us about <laughs> you. Zambia Airports Corporation Limited is the organization that is designated to look after the four international airports. Now, if I mention the cities, they are Livingston, Ndola, Lusaka, and Mfue. So as you rightly mentioned, we are rehabilitating all our airports. Um, but I do want to mention that we are a company limited by shares, and our shares are 100% owned by the government of the Republic of Zambia. However, we are financially autonomous, meaning that we have to generate our own revenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that you do that quite well. Thank you. So far, <laughs> yeah, which, which is good, because I think that you, you, you are a very, very well established um, organization. So what else do you do at Zambia Airports Corporation? Okay. I know you're responsible for the airports. And, uh, yeah, what right. else? We have a variety of functions. So just to name a few, we are in charge of the air traffic control within uh, Zambia, the whole of Zambia. So just to give a, an example that people might be able to understand, when you are watching a movie, for example, and you see those men or women saying, clear for takeoff, clear for landing. That's a fraction of what yeah. air traffic control and I know does. There are a lot of young men and women would like to actually have that job because right. they think that it sounds exciting. Right, and from what I've seen, it, it is exciting. Um, we also control air navigation uh, services. So right now we have actually invested $20 million in um, a new radar system. So we're able to see where all the planes um, within the Zambian airspace are. So whether it's a commercial airline, whether it's a private jets or you know any other aircraft we're able to see what type of aircraft the altitude longitude everything wow. so yes um, we also do aircraft services so for example to name a few of those is we do refueling of uh, the aircrafts we also do cleaning of aircrafts and also um, food services uh, catering services so some of those in-flight meals that uh, people eat during Enjoy. their journey exactly yeah. uh, <laughs> yes. actually compliments of the uh, you know <laughs> The Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Yes, depending on the airline, yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, wow. How many um, airlines do we have flying into Zambia? We have today? 15 airlines flying into Zambia. Um, we have from all over the world. So we have, for example, Emirates that flies in. We have South African Airlines. We have Kenya Airways. 
um, Malawian Airlines, Ethiopian uh, air, Airlines as well. So uh, we also have British Airways, uh, which is in partnership with Comair, and that flies into Livingston. Into Livingston, yeah. Right. Not, in, not into Lusaka, but into mm -hmm. Livingston. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have a variety, um, K, uh, KLM Cargo as well. So we do cargo, we do commercial. Um, we, of course, Pro Flights, which is uh, our, local, our local carrier. Yeah. Yes. So we have 15 airlines, and yeah. uh, yes, and growing. Qatar Air, Airlines will actually be coming into Zambia next year, Great 2017. News. Yes. Great news. Great news. Yes. So we're going to have Emirates, Qatar. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Um, I, know, I do know that, um, you know, you, we're going to talk about the, the, the actual rehabilitation um, process because I want an update on that. But why is it important to you as Zambia Airports Corporation that we have a robust and, you know, solid, you know, airport infrastructure in the country? Well, it's just important in general, just for the country, not necessarily just for Zambia Airports Corporation. But if I'm speaking um, on behalf of the company, we want to create ourselves, uh, we want to create Zambia um, as being a hub for the region. So we're, se we're very central in terms of Africa. Um, we're strategically located if you look at uh, our neighboring countries. And uh, we want to become um, an, an airport hub. And we find that the infrastructure development projects that we have will actually help us in attaining this goal. So as you mentioned, you wanted uh, more information about Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. Um, but if you don't mind, I would like to give you information about all our airports. All right. <laughs> OK, we'll, we'll, we'll take a little break. <laughs> We're talking to Mwembe Sikaolo. She is the manager in charge of communications and brand at the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. And today, we decided to talk about the airport infrastructure because it's so key to the development of tourism. We need that infrastructure. So, great things happening in Zambia. We take a break, and when we come back, we will find out exactly where the building of the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport is. And of course, we're going to also tell you about Zatex, the Zambia Travel Expo, in a little bit more detail in terms of what you can do to be a part of this exciting Expo. We take a break and we'll be right back. There are moments in our lives that live forever. Moments like witnessing the thunderous call of a natural wonder. Or experiencing the roar of the wilderness as its residents come to life. and the lively slither of a river teeming with untamed wildlife. There are moments in our lives that live forever. Moments like experiencing the adrenaline rush of close encounters with nature's thrills. The exquisite indulgence of luxurious treats kissed by the radiance of the African sky the rhythmic movement of a people in celebration, whose tranquility and peace touch the hearts of those they encounter. There are moments in our lives that live forever. Many of them begin here. Zambia, one destination, a million adventures. Zambia, let's explore. This is Let's Explore. What a beautiful country we have. Yes, indeed, we do. And we're talking airport infrastructure with Mwembe Sikaulu. She is in charge of communications and brand at the Zambia Airports Corporation Limited. Now, I want to find out about the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport first, because, of course, I want to find out about all the other airports. I want to find out about the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. But generally, Tell us about what you intend to do in the four main airports that we have. I'll start with Livingston. Yeah. We have uh, rehabilitated the airport at, a, at an investment of 60... The Harry Mwanga Nkumbula International Airport. Right. Um, we have done an investment of $60 million. And so we have rehabilitated the fire and rescue services and, and the uh, international terminal as well. Talking about the Harry Mwanga Nkumbula Airport. Mm -hmm. So those are the facilities 
that the uh, airport has. Right? In regards to um, the Greenfield Airport in Ndola. Ndola, yes. I'm interested right. in the Ndola one. Yes. Right. So the new Simon Wansa Kapwepe International Airport will actually it will actually be at a separate location from where you're used to our current airport. Yeah, it's not going to be where Ndola Airport is no. now. Yeah, no, it's going to be at a separate location. Exactly. What, what's it going to be like? What is it going to have? I'm interested. We're going to have an office complex. We're going to have a, a hotel. Again, we are building a fire and rescue service uh, uh, station. And just to explain this, uh, we actually have w men and women who work for Zambia Airports Corporation that are actually trained in fire and rescue. So we actually have fire brigades stationed at the airport, um, at all our airports. So if we did have an unfortunate incident, luckily we would have the men and women right there able to assist uh -huh. on the ground. So the same for Mfue um, in terms of um, having the fire and rescue uh, How much services. did you say the uh, dollar one is going to cost? Um, the Simon Mwansaka Puepo Airport, the right. new one. We are investing um, $397 million uh, United States dollars. Wow. And for Mfue, it's $122 million uh, US dollars. Um, and for your favorite, Kenneth Counter Kenneth International, Kenneth Airport, International Airport, it's $360 million US dollars. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I think my favorite is going to be Ndola because I think I always thought that the Copper Belt deserved a bigger airport than Ndola. I think Ndola was becoming really too too small, way too mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it used to serve its purpose long mm -hmm. time ago when we didn't have as much you mm -hmm. know, traffic. But really, mm -hmm. for 2016, I mm -hmm. think that in the Copper Belt, mm -hmm. with all the economic activity in that area, mm -hmm. and with Sulawesi coming up, I think that they deserve that big airport. So I'm really looking forward to the Simon Mwansaka Puepue Airport. Yes. And of course, uh, it's good to know that the Livingstone one, the Harry Mwangan Kumbula, is already a shining example. And right. then Fue one is good because the South Wangwa is one of our flagship mm -hmm. um, you know, national parks, if you like, because mm -hmm. that is the national park in terms mm -hmm. of what you can see. Absolutely. So what mm -hmm. am I saying? I think I'm waiting for all of them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Absolutely. And actually, Carista, <laughs> I agree with you 100%. Uh, and uh, right now, our the Simon Mwansaka Puepue International Airport, right now it's a vintage airport. And so they will be getting a modernized uh, airport that they'll be very happy, very excited about. All right. Yes. Let's talk about the Kenneth Kaunda International Airport mm -hmm. in Lusaka. Where is it being built? And how far are you with the construction? Okay, it's being built right there at the airport. Actually, if you are driving in, um, you will see the construction happening on the left-hand side. And um, so you find that's gonna be our international terminal. And then the current uh, airport that you used to, it's gonna be domestic, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of exciting projects that are happening, Caristo, that I'm sure your viewers will wanna what's know gonna, about. What, what's the new one gonna be like? What's gonna be there? You, okay. you told me about a hotel at the Simon Monsaka Puepo Airport in Dola. Yes. What's KK International Airport going to have? We're going to have two hotels. Two hotels? Yes. One within mm. the terminal and the other one outside of the terminal. So similar to what you've seen in other countries such as South Africa or Dubai, the one inside the terminal will be more for transit. Um, for those who do not want to enter Zambia per se, but are flying on to a different, uh, different country, yeah. a dist different destination. And uh, the one outside will have conference facilities, it will have the works. And uh, I'm sure Zambia Tourism Agency will be hosting a lot of Absolutely. events there. Yeah. But the, yeah. uh, the shopping mall on the office complex will actually be along Airport Road, um, close to where you see the police checkpoint at the moment, on the left-hand side. Ooh. Yes, so that's another exciting uh, project that we have going on over there. So residents in, the, in that area and of course uh, travelers as well, we have a lot to look forward to. Again, we're building a new fire and rescue service station and uh, we just have so much uh, for customers to be, to be excited about, for passengers. Of course, when you go inside, we have the uh, arrivals that will be at the bottom. Uh, it's gonna be a double story, a double story um, airport. So when you're departing, you'll be arriving at the top and at the bottom is for arrivals. So there's yeah. a lot of things yeah. happening. Yes, wow. there will also it's be. It's, it's now really sounds like some airports have used abroad. Right. Which is good for Zambia. Right. Which is good for Zambia. We're also gonna have um, a VIP, like presidential presidential complex the, the, the design oh yes like a presidential complex right. right so it's going to be separate from the main the main airport so um you find that that's going to be for vips and of course uh, the presidents of uh, 
of the Republic of Zambia. So for you, next time you're, you're flying out, I know you're a VIP, Caristo, so <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And um, who did the design? I mean, I, I noticed that it's going like, like actually it's, it's like a plane flying like wings, mm -hmm. the design of the KK International Airport. Yes, it's actually, the design is more to do with like the eagle. Mm -hmm. uh, the Zambian Eagle and actually for n for the new Simon Monsaka Airport International Airport it's because of the mining so it looks a bit more like uh, like sort of like the diamond shape. Mineral wealth. Exactly. Of, of, of the region. Exactly. Of the area, of the Copper Belt. Um, KK, the Kenneth Kaunda in Lusaka mm -hmm. is the eagle. Right. Like flying and of course it's our symbol of uh, you know national identity, the eagle. Rising above everything, above mm -hmm. our challenges and conquering. Right. Wow, mm -hmm. fantastic, I love that. The question, one more question is, so when can I actually find myself in the Kenneth Kaunda New Wing International Airport and using the facility? When is it scheduled to be completed? It's scheduled to be completed in 2019. Okay, this is 2016. Mm -hmm. 17, 18, 19, that's not too bad. Yes. That's not too bad. Time will fly. Before you know it, you'll be flying out of that airport. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't wait. This is Let's Explore, brought to you with the components of the Zambia Tourism Agency, formerly Zambia Tourism Board.